Hi you guys. Whoa. I thought that I might do a little bit of a a whip and stitch with you or chat. Um I had this little bird today, little Christmas bird, and it's 28 colors and it's square, so I thought I would, I've been working on a little bit of it, and I thought, well, I didn't do an unboxing because my boyfriend was awake, and when he's in here watching TV, you can't hear nothing over it, so. This is my kitchen table, which I use as a craft table because I live in a small two-bedroom trailer, a very old one, so. I am making do with what I have and we may be getting disturbed here because we have a new little guy a little girl added here to is in here running around so she's baby she loves to cuddle and her name is Cho Choco my son named her after some kind of bird so and she loves to cuddle, so my we can't he can't sleep with her. I can't do it because I have two other cats, and they're very jealous of her. So yeah, I have a female cat named Tauntry, and I have a Tom cat that I've had since my son has been in first grade, and he is about 14, 15 years old in humans' lives. And this one here is probably about a couple months old. I don't know where she toddled off to, but. She's a sweetheart, and she's very lovable, so. Uh, yeah, nobody can sleep without somebody being up, so. I've had my sleep for today. My son is rested, and my boyfriend just went to bed, so. I'm up working on this for a while, for tonight. And I'll be doing my videos sometimes at night because... Yeah, it's, like I said, TV situation until I can set something up in the bedroom. And then I can't really promise you anything. It's not perfect here. So I am working on trying to get a replacement on this trailer because my roof does leak. But that's another video. So like I said, I am working on this cute little birdie, little Christmas bird. Um... You guys, some of you guys have seen some of the paintings that I've done. This is one of them. And, um, I do paint. I draw. I quilt. I have a quilt right here. Let's see if I can get it out without knocking everything else down. Well, a starting of a quilt, let's put it that way. This is, um, one. This is a... A friendship quilt this is all done by hand um, this is more or less a throw right at the moment let me move that it's more or less a throw right now because I haven't got it any bigger but I love to quilt it gives me something to do I seen this years ago in a uh, old magazine and I couldn't remember where I saw it it's got dusty because um, that's part of living in a small place you got to make do with what you got um, Anyways, I live in, uh, I saw it in an old magazine, and I couldn't remember what the name of it was. Somebody told me it was called a friendship chain. So I sat down, and I took some grid paper and made it the way I thought it would look. It's probably a little bit bigger than a normal one, but it works. So this is my friendship chain. Like I said, it's just parts of it, but I quilt and I do some crocheting. Cro uh, my crocheting is the granny square, so. And I haven't done any of it in a while, so. I still got to add pieces to it, so you like right here. I still got to find another one to put in there. So, flowery design, which I don't think I have anything that I already ain't already used on here, but I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I did that. And 
I made this for the spring. I'm trying to get it down without knocking down. I have some boxes and stuff here that I need to do a PR on uh, for some people. So I told them as soon as I get things set up, I do it. So this is something that I have made for the spring. It's, let me see if I can get it off without getting it tangled up. Um, it says, it's spring. We got so excited we wet our plants. And of course when it hangs up, it'll be hanging. They're all different, so I painted all this on there and they're all different colors. But I made that for the spring. And it's very big and very heavy. Um, oh, there she is. Yeah, hello, Choco. Say hello. I'm baby Choco. That's my, my little grandbaby, as I'll call her. <laughs> so... Yeah, and she's got gas for a kitten. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And I've made these little witches hat banners. Or things. So, yeah, I make out of felt and stuff. So, like I said, I do all kinds of crafts. So, you guys will see quite a bit on here of different things that I do. My son said, Mom, you need to go back to you getting on YouTube and doing things about crafting. Because I think a lot of people would enjoy it. I'm like, okay. So, I'm doing that. Plus, I've been working on some diamond paintings. Um, Marjorie and Emmy's place on Facebook. I have posted some of these. So, I'm just going to show you a few. I've given one away and I've got some framed. So, this is a partial... I did that one. Did the little bird. Birds. That's a couple that I've done. Um, I'm working on my little snowbird now. And I might do some things next year in spring around with my garden. I was going to do it this year. Never did get around to doing it. Um, one thing, I needed a better camera. I've got one, but I'm going to be making payments on it, so but that's just life, I guess. So, Oh, my bottom came out. <laughs> oh, well, I'll fix it some other time. Um, but, yeah, I thought I'd do a little whip and stitch and tell you a little bit about me. Um, so, here we go. As y'all know, I'm very creative in different ways. I am 43. I am disabled. And I love to craft because it gives me things to do. Um, my name is Patricia. Or you can call me Patty, P A T T I E. Um, I am a child of 13 kids, and I'm the baby of the 13. Let's see what else. Um, I was adopted when I was 12, so, and out of the 12, I am the oldest of the three girls. The middle one passed away about three, four years ago. The mother that adopted me, she passed away two years ago. And my, I feel that my foster dad that adopted me really don't want much to do with us anymore. Or me, anyhow. His biological daughter, yes, and grandbabies, yes. Uh, he has two granddaughters, which are my nieces. And I have his only grandson who is now 22 years, well, be 22 in December, eight days after my birthday. We were both December babies. I was born on the 6th of December, and he was born on the 14th of December. 
my boyfriend was born on September 18th of 68 so he is much older than I am but that is okay I dated him in high school and my second divorce went through and we became, we were friends before then and we became partners again last December so meanwhile he moved in so we're together now it's very different he has been a bachelor most of his life he has a son that don't want much, I mean they don't have much to do with each other I mean they talk when they see each other but yeah long story there uh, like I said I dated him when I was in high school so it was kind of like high school sweethearts a little bit he didn't go to my school or anything but he had dropped out of school when I met him I met him at my school dance so it was different we dated three years and we were split up due to some of my family issues and like I said about four five years ago we met each, we found each other again so he is in my life and I am in his he's a good man he is very sweet country down hillbilly <laughs> guy and uh, let's see uh, I love to my thing that I used to do is I love to fish I love to be outside I love to do things with people my family members camp do all kinds of things now that uh, I had my knee surgery and it kind of messed things up a little bit, I haven't been able to do those things anymore. So I do the best I can about getting outside and messing with my garden and yard. Yard. I'll show you my old trailer. Um maybe sometime during the daytime or something when it's nice it's starting to get chilly here where I'm at I'm in central Missouri, uh, central United States I am Missouri and it is starting to get a little chilly here now um, I live in a rural area so I'm going to tell you about that um, I do PR for different things, not just crafting supplies. Um, well, more of a PR. I usually just do do things where they help me get stuff, and then I test it and then give a, a um, feedback on it. It's basically what it is. And um, so I told them that I was going to start doing some YouTube videos and start doing it. So. I will be doing that on um, I do toys other things um, whatever they offer I can kind of do so I just if I think that I might be able to use it somewhere somehow I say yes so or maybe you know something like that and since you know it helps people out I mean it helps companies out to be able to tell if you know about things so and it gives me something to do and like I said I am disabled I don't get around as well as I used to but I am very determined to do what I am what I do do so um, I don't want negativity on my channel because I've had enough of it in my life and I will block you um, I have nothing 
against handicapped people because my mom was one. Um, and that's another subject as far as handicapped people and the public. Um, especially theme parks. My mom loved the rides and when she became wheelchair bound she never got to do those things. She had to sit back and watch everyone else. They need to make it more where will chair friendly to others that that are so I mean that's sad too you know for people to go through that and have to step back and watch because they are handicapped and they can't do the things they used to do it's not their fault that they became handicapped it's the wrench that was thrown their way so Let's see what else. Um, this is a polymer clay tool. I got these with some polymer clay things that I got. So I'm just using this one to use to straighten my drills. So, and I ordered this off of AliExpress for like 94 cents. This little pointy thing, it helps with things. This here was from when I got an ear infection and they had to put a wick in my ear. It didn't touch me, but it was an, on the wick and she asked me if I wanted them or I asked if I could have one. She said, yeah. So um, they don't have to throw them in. They're very good for this, so they work because they've got no sharp T's on the end. And today I got one of these, one of these with this, but already, and I got, um, these little flimsy things. They are what they are, so I just stick them up there. I use them for something. She's over here playing. <laughs> she thinks she has to get in everything. No, you can't have that little Henri thing. No, leave it be. Um, let's see what else. I'm a country girl. I love country. My days used to be where I could get in the truck and drive country road, see wild animals, deer, chipmunks, squirrels, and other little things. Like I said, that was part of my life. And here comes my honorary grandbaby. She's looking to see what she can get into, knowing you're not messing with the drills. And um, my son found her underneath the house. She was squealing, and we couldn't figure out why. And he went around the back and moved a piece of tin, and she came out from under it. And he brought her in the house and gave her food. She was half starved to death, so... Now she's just, she's a sweet baby that loves to cuddle. And I tell you, I said, well, you better think of a name. She's what we would call a, um, a tabby calico. She has got the stripes of tabbies of two different colors, but she's the calico colors. She is the browns and grays on this side. This side, she is the yellows. And She's little Miss Lovebug. She loves to cuddle. She's a snuggy bug. No, oh, you're not messing with that over there, little lady. And so, let's see. Um, like I said, I have two cats. I have a female snowshoe, which she's part Siamese and something else. And yeah, you know, Siamese are massive and cantankerous and that's exactly what she is she can be sweet at times and other times she can be just a downright ornery and then we have the old gray the old yellow one who is mr tigger boy huh say i tolerate her getting close but i don't want to play because i'm just too old and i don't care so and my son also has a cha channel called cybers cyber Cyber Laughs Gaming or something. Cyber's Laughs. 
anyways it will be underneath some of my videos so he's looking for more people to follow him and he don't talk he just plays video games for people and you know and records them because he enjoys doing it because that's something he's always done he's also my caregiver so that's what he does so everybody please show him some support because he really needs it he's trying to get up there where he can earn some money because I mean he gets paid a little bit for taking care of me but you know he wants to be able to be able to get him a, a new a newer computer and a car he's got a computer but it's going out and it's very old so I'm trying to help him but when you are on disability you don't get much so yeah um maybe later on I can show y'all some about my house plants I have a few in my bedroom because we're getting ready to put gas heat up because I can't do wood no more because of my breathing <coughs> I have asthma and I'm supposed to be using an, a sleep apnea machine at night but I can't stand that thing over my face it just irritates me I'm getting into paper crafting I don't have the machine for paper crafting but I do fussy cut and I have one stamp block thing that uh, isn't very good ink so I'm trying to get a better one so I've been doing some surveys to earn points to get stuff from Amazon the, the craft supplies that I have now are stuff that I've had when I was married to my second husband and because he used to buy them to keep me occupied <laughs> and now that I'm where I craft all the time that's what I'm doing so see here's something I have to do a PR on so I'm just moving it out of the way oh and here's one of my diamond paintings I did um this is crystals. It is um, not a whole, but it would be what I would call a whole partial because the partial is the gaps in between, but it's the whole thing that they do. And I just bought me some Krylon spray for this. Uh, I was able to squeeze a few bucks out of my monthly money this month to be able to buy that spray so that I can spray that because it's still, say, it's still sticky. So, I also have a cat that my son bought me, and, yeah, to do. And, and here, let me show you a little something, what my son bought me. Uh, my birthday's in December, and like I said, he's working on trying to get him another computer. So, he bought me this. I was so excited for this. Let's see here. Let me move this back a little bit. Um, this is one of the little diamond painting stickers that I done. Um, I'm just gonna keep it in here because I don't want it. Um, I want to get a sheet of magnet and then put it on a magnet. Maybe put it on my refrigerator and seal it. But yeah, it's one of them. This one he got me, and this is the small. Drills. These are my round drills because I have a lot of rounds. Um, these are all my colors. And I like about it because it's hard case. And then I can take this out like this. And then you can turn it like this or to the front where you prop it up like this. And you can see all your drill colors. Yeah, I like that because you can do that. And with it, it came with some bags and these are my square drills all of the square drills that I have so and it's got square drills on there so I keep them together because there ain't that many right now I told my son that I need another one with the blue for square and then I need purple or pink no for round blue for round and then purple for pink for square and then another color for my specialties because these are my special drills is how I'm storing them right now so and what the big pieces I have in another container and then this is what I'm working out of now and then I have this which these are some of my tools 
This is some of the wax I got out of here. I got one of these. I got a bunch of these. And the bags. And a cup and one of these. And these, which I took off the other ones. And this. And a couple of these, which I gave the other two to him, and I got these. And, yeah. So. And then today I got one of these. And another one of the, these with the thingy on it. Which I just stuck it in here. This is just my box I keep everything in. And... This is how I store the wax I use. It came, uh, I think I had a pair of ring, a ring or earrings in this through Alley, so I use this. So. But yeah, he got me this and I really love it. And it just tickled me to death that he bought that for me for my birthday. And then he bought my tripod for my camera for my birthday. I got them early. But that's alright, because he thought I could use them now, so which I'm very thankful for because my old tripod tore up. So and I've had that for many years, so I definitely needed a new one. So well, you guys I know that let me do a little bit more of this and then I will shut you off and I'm going to do some PR videos tonight while everybody's in bed and it's quiet in the house and um, I hope you guys kind of enjoy them. I know that they're not crafting related. Well at least um, one or two of them ain't and then let's see one, one, two, three. Four, maybe four of the things are not craft related so but uh, one of them is you just within the crafting and then one's a beauty which I showed you and then some of the things can be used within crafting certain ways so but anyways I hope you guys enjoy this um, don't do so many videos right at the moment because I'm working on it um, I don't know what all you like to see. I mean, I did do I did do some ACT cards with Crafting with Fury. I did my first index card with Crafting with Fury. Um, I guess I can do a demonstration how to do one one day. Um, I'd like to do something like that but I can't do it right now because I ain't got nothing to give out as a gift so but for now I enjoy just doing this because it's fun and it helps me take my mind off the pain so and uh, yeah Like I said, I hope you all have a 